Do you like Huey Lewis in the news? The early work was a little too new wave for my taste. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Today, I wanted to do something that was familiar to me and not try to learn a new craft like I have been doing in the past few weeks. I've been binge watching what we do in the shadows lately and I'm so obsessed with like the set design, the lighting, the costumes, everything. And something that really piqued my fancy was uh, the neon sign in Nadja's nightclub. It's like a red neon, it says Nadja's and it has her face on it. And I wanna recreate that with some EL wire and a uh, black piece of wood basically. This is something I've done before with other signs and it's pretty simple and I think it's gonna look really cool in my studio. Okay, so the first step, I have taken the sign and broken it down into 12 sheets of paper that I need to tape them all together. I'm gonna go over all the lines with a pounce wheel, which is like this little cutter sort of, but it's, it's got a bunch of barbs in it, so it just cuts holes throughout all the lines. Tape it to my board, use um, like chalk powder to go over all the lines and it'll get into those little holes that were made by the pounce wheel. Then I'll have a roadmap for where to go with the rest of the sign. So at that point, I'm going to drill a bunch of tiny holes. And screw in these little eyelet screws. They're normally used for like jewelry making, but I've found that feeding EL, EL wire through them works really well to to make shapes that you can't really make if you're trying to glue it down or feed it through like a, a thicker tubing. And the reason I don't want to glue it down is because I want to be able to replace the EL wire if I need to in the future. Then once I have all the holes drilled, I can use a jigsaw to cut out the final shape. And then it's as easy as putting the eyelet screws in and feeding the eel wire through it. After cutting out the shape, I decided that even though the board was already painted, it needed a good sanding. And then of course, since the sanding and drilling did some work on the paint, I went ahead and gave it another coat of black spray paint and I'm glad I did because it ended up looking a lot better. Okay, now comes the fun and or tedious part of putting in all the eyelet screws. I drilled some bigger holes that I'm gonna be feeding the EL wire directly through on the points where the original neon wire ends. So I won't be putting the eye hole screws in those, but yeah, so it's gonna take a while, so time lapse. So this was by far the hardest part of the project just because it took forever. And I kept looking at the original sign to make sure that the eyelets were facing in the direction that the EL wire would be fed through it. And I don't show it here, but I also added a drop of super glue at the base of each screw after that. And then I did a sweet little dollop of my trusty hot glue on the backside for some extra holding power. The eyelets are done. I'm ready to put the EL wire in. First, I'm gonna test it to make sure that the ones I got aren't duds. I probably should have done that before I started, but you know.
Okay, so did this turn out awesome or what? I was really expecting at least one thing to go awry because it always does with me, but like, it went really smoothly. I feel like I don't really have a lot to say other than I have links to the EL wire and the little eyelet screws that I used down in the description. So if you want to do something like this yourself, it's all there. But yeah, so come and hang out with me on Instagram and I'll see you next week. It's hard to tell. My whole family is still sick. If you can't tell by my voice. <laughs> okay, well, see you later.